back to a brand new video and today we're going to be building the Minnesota Timberwolves but today we're going to be trading Andrew Wiggins in the offseason as you guys all know a report came out the other day that Andrew Wiggins is significantly unhappy being the third option to Jimmy Butler and Carl Anthony Towns so basically what we're going to do in this scenario today is going to be trading Andrew Wiggins so that's basically what we're going to do actually now that I think about it Andrew Wiggins is uh actually okay never mind so yeah he has a big contract extension after this so maybe a team will be willing to take him on uh guys i am kind of sick right now or maybe not sick my allergies are really bothering me today and they have been since yesterday so today i'm only going to do uh this season and then the off season and then the last season so i'm not going to be doing two seasons i'm not going to be doing a three season rebuild today pretty much so i'm going to be doing a two season rebuild only today sorry for the inconvenience but uh hopefully tomorrow guys i'll feel a little bit better and then i'll be willing to do three seasons again so at the end of the season let's see where the all nba teams look so basically you have nobody on the all nba team for the minnesota timberwolves that i didn't see anyway all defensive first team not seeing anyone there and no one on there and i don't think we have any significant rookies i'm pretty sure no okay so now we are the sixth seed in the western conference facing the san antonio spurs so this team uh i think should be able to put up a decent fight against the spurs player stats 22 21 and wiggins is averaging a solid 18 points but he is significantly unhappy doing that i'm going to simulate current round and uh, see how this goes and looks like we are going to get swept in the first round so you know it's just a matter of uh, exploring in the offseason what we're about to do basically i'm not sure what we're going to do with andrew wiggins like you know what i'm going to try to trade for i guess i'll just trade for an additional need like what we really need i mean if you guys watch sdc he did a video about this the other day and he said something uh interesting about maybe the timberwolves trading for kevin love like we'll give you andrew wiggins back if you give us kevin love back because that would be interesting honestly because the timberwolves are kind of in a win now kind of mode at the same time they're not it's just the timberwolves are like in between basically and uh getting kevin love back wouldn't be a terrible idea i just don't think i don't know it, it's really whatever the minnesota timberwolves really want to do but today of course we're going to be trading andrew wiggins and i might trade a few other pieces here and there jeff teague i'm not sure i'm actually gonna keep him i think uh he's not it's not a terrible contract it could be better i might be trading gorgie dang and taj gibson today though and then other than that i might resign derrick rose and uh, Bialica can probably walk jamal crawford wouldn't mind him coming back but today the million dollar man um do we have a good pick we have the first draft pick our right, second round, 20 second pick in the first round so trading our man andrew wiggins today the man is unhappy let's see what we can get for andrew wiggins so what would be a good lending spot for wiggins what would he love to go do so three and a half star trade value sergeant covington it wouldn't be too bad bobby porter's denzel valentine not feeling that conley probably not dennis schroeder john collins josh richardson james johnson kimball walker and marvin williams that would be interesting rudy gobert jay crowder bogdan tim hardaway vucevic harrison barnes paul Millsap, mouse turner the first pick from the new orleans pelicans in solomon hill now that's interesting that is very interesting blake griffin that nah, just doesn't make a lot of sense kyle lowry eric gordon tj warren and otto porter so i'm not sure what the tim wolves would want um, would want from uh andrew wiggins i mean i'm sure they want someone that's going to come in and contribute right away what does this team really need if we do trade andrew wiggins away and uh i'm thinking that we go for this first pick and uh maybe we draft marvin bagley or something i mean we don't necessarily need deandre ayton we could take him if we wanted to and slide carnalty towns to the four so i think we might do something like that if i can remove solomon hill i, just, I cannot i have to take him all right so i will uh, just go ahead and flip solomon hill as soon as we get it so the first pick in the 2018 draft i will take that gladly so welcome to the team first pick in the nba draft and uh get the heck off my team solomon hill i don't know who or why you were given that contract you just didn't deserve it so utah will gladly welcome you there for two second round picks okay and then taj gibson i'm probably gonna trade him away uh although i don't think they would trade him in real life because uh you know it's the minnesota, minnesota timber bulls but uh, i'll take uh, i'll gladly take that uh first round pick for taj gibson and then last but not least i do want to trade gorgie dang away as well everyone else i think is safe gorgie dang just making a little too much money for my comfort uh, i'm gonna go ahead and throw the 20 second pick in there as well and see if that will trim uh it gives a one star rating not too bad robin lopez 
Sam Decker, Ben Macklemore, Tyler Canova in the 28th pick, Marvin Williams, Scallop this year. Um, I would take a solid bench piece or just, you know, just a dump like this. I mean, honestly, if I'm going to just dump it, Gorgie Dang, I might as well not even include the first pick in the draft. That would be kind of silly. Uh, I'm sure one team will give me, yeah. All right, so we can do this without trading our uh, two picks in the draft. So we have the first pick and the 22nd pick. I'm kind of interested. Should I take? I think I might do this. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to take Carthy Towns to power forward and draft DeAndre Aiden. I mean, why not? He's the most dominant player in the draft, I feel like. I mean, as far as 2K goes, he, he progresses on 2K like it's nothing. So I might as well take, you know, DeAndre Aiden. So that's who we're going to take here. And I'll even take a pick at the 22nd pick and see if anyone, like, slips to us. So let's go ahead and see if anything comes out interesting here we have 28 trade offers or 18 trade offers not 28 and uh, I'm kind of interested to see what we could get so basically we'd be flipping Wiggins for the first pick and then uh, the first pick leading to maybe someone decent out here probably not the sixth pick we could trade down get Wally Collie Stein uh, Harrison Barnes Paul Millsap Blake Griffin nothing too interesting there I'm gonna go ahead and draft DeAndre Aiden here where are you buddy boy there you are DeAndre Aiden welcome to the Minnesota Timberwolves, I'm gonna go ahead and simply to my next user pick as well and uh, draft at the 22nd pick. So, welcome to the team, DeAndre Ayton. You and Conti Towns will be really good down there together. So, I like that. Now, where I think DeAndre Ayton is gonna go in real life if he does decide to uh, declare for the NBA draft, which I'm pretty sure he will, I think Phoenix Suns would be great for him. I think Phoenix is gonna be a good spot. For DeAndre Ayton to land. I mean, Phoenix really needs DeAndre Ayton. So, or they could use a guy like DeAndre Ayton. So, uh, I mean, I think it makes a lot of sense. Other than that, let's go ahead and see what else is left on the board. Trayvon Duvall is still here. Emmanuel Akut. Uh, PJ Washington. Grayson Allen. Uh, I'm not really sure who's good that's left. So, I'm going to go ahead and take Trayvon Duvall. Uh, maybe not. I'll take this guy, Emmanuel. How bad can he really be? Let's see. All right. Well, we're going to send the end. And uh, maybe he'll be a decent bench piece going forward. I don't know. Maybe I should have taken Trayvon Duvall. I'm not sure. I, Trayvon Duvall is a name that's like sounds familiar to me. I've never heard of this guy necessarily. But we'll go ahead and see if uh, I made the right choice. So, and of course, we got DeAndre Ayton. And then at the 22nd pick, we got... Uh, all right. Not too bad. We could have gotten Kevin Knox. Uh, I'm kind of curious if uh, Trayvon Duvall has a good overall. I'm not even sure. Seven three overall, okay, it's not bad. So I wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have been a bad pick necessarily. I'll go ahead and sign him. So welcome to the team. Player options: Jamal Crawford accepts. I'm okay with that. And Cole Aldrich, you can go ahead and walk. I'm not really interested. Qualifying offers: Yeah, uh, by Lisa, you can walk as well. Not really need you. And then let's go ahead. Cap holds. By Lisa, I don't need you back. Cole Aldrick, definitely not. Derek Aaron Brooks, no, 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 and no. I will uh, definitely probably sign you back, D-Row. So we got 32 million in cap space to work with. So what are we really missing when you look at this team? Uh, Jeff Teague, I'm cool with the point guard position. Uh, we don't necessarily need Derek Rose back. So if I don't get him back, it's not going to hurt my feelings completely. But I mean... A starting small forward is really what this team needs and I'm gonna go ahead and go all for it and go for a guy like Kevin Durant I mean why not I might as well you know what I mean so Kevin Durant okay not gonna happen um, eh, who could we trade off this team Justin Patton I mean sorry Justin Patton you're gonna have to bite the you know bite the dust here basically Jamichael Green uh, we're kind of trying to dump salary not take in salary so all right Oklahoma City Thunder will gladly take you there over there. So let's go ahead and offer Kevin Durant a contract again. I mean, Kevin Durant, I would gladly take you on the Minnesota Timberwolves. I mean, we could easily flip. And then we got Paul George. I will take Paul George as well. I wouldn't mind that. I'll give you about 29 mil and I'll give you a no trade clause. What else is small forwards wise? Tyreek Evans wouldn't be too bad either. 27.8 I'll give you a no trade clause as well. Let's see who accepts. We got Paul George and uh, Yeah, all right. I'll go. I'll take Paul George. I'll take Paul George. That's for sure I think Paul George is a little more realistic anyway. I mean, uh, maybe not because Paul George is probably gonna go to the Lakers Let's see. All right, so we got Paul George. I mean, I might as well see D sign D Rose back. So 
Uh, yeah, I'll just give him that offer. And then we got Derek Rose back. Okay, so I think this team is almost set pretty much. So we got Paul George and D Rose back. What else does this team need? I'm not sure. We got Paul, uh, Jeff Teague, Derek Rose, Jimmy Butler, Jamal Crawford, Paul George, Carly Towns. The bench is going to be a little bit lacking. I mean, we need some backups, though. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can find that. Five million cap space. I mean, D Wade, I would take you. Uh, let's see what else we got out here. Centers wise, we got Alex Lynn. A little too much money for my liking. Uh, Avery Bradley, Ersan Eliasova. I mean, I mean, I'm I might as well try to throw D Wade a contract. I'm gonna throw him one. 505 mil for two years. Let's see if he's interested in that. Uh, let's go ahead and offer Seth Curry a contract. I wouldn't mind that. Lance Stevenson, I wouldn't mind you either. And then Za, no, heck no. Actually, I hate Zaz. All right, D-Wade accepts. I'll go ahead and take D-Wade here off everyone else's hands. And then we already, I mean, we had Jamal Crawford, but I think Jamal Crawford's going to digress like crazy. So, I mean, maybe we could just trade him away and get a backup center because I really don't want to have Jamal Crawford coming off on bench if he's just going to, like, digress like crazy. Malcolm Brogdon, uh, that's interesting, but we don't necessarily, all right, I'll take Bobby Portis, no problem. All right, Bobby Portis, welcome to the team. We needed a backup power forward anyway. And uh, other than that, guys, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty set. Uh, I'm gonna trade Terrence or Tyus Jones and a first rounder and get a backup center, possibly. Uh, Rashawn Holmes, I would gladly take that. Mike Muscat, Will Collie Stein, welcome to the team. And we're gonna go ahead and stay set with that. This is basically going to be the rotation when I show it to you guys, but. All right, guys, not a bad team whatsoever. I mean, just like I said, we're only going to do this one season and call it good because I'm not feeling too well. I'm feeling kind of under the radar right now. So we're going to be going ahead and uh, continuing with this team right here. Not going to be doing any seasons after this. So hopefully we win a championship in this first season. That's why I kind of went all out right now. Let's see what we got. Let's go. D-Wade digresses and so does Jeff Teague and Derek Rose. All right, so training camps. Let's see what we got. Hopefully we have a few untapped potentials I can use at my disposal to make What's this? I don't even know how to pronounce the name Emmanuel Akai a little better or however you say his name That's probably not even close of how you say it a minus untapped potential and then I'll throw another untapped potential at DeAndre Ayton Of course a plus he should be a absolute freaking beast this season Now let's look at the rotation the final rotation and see how it's looking Jeff Teague Jimmy Butler, Paul George, Conley Towns, DeAndre Ayton, Bobby Portis, Willie Collie Stein, D Wade, and Derrick Rose. I mean, I think Joe Harris, you need to step out, and I'm going to give Emmanuel some minutes. All right, other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of the season. Let's see how this team does. And I think I'm, I'm expecting big things out of this team. So hopefully, a championship is coming. At the end of the season, Steph Curry is your MVP, Trey Young is rookie of the year. DeAndre Ayton got snubbed, man. I'm telling you right now. We're going to go ahead and look at his player stats here in a second. Um, we have anybody on the all NBA teams we do not. All defensive, no. No. All rookie. He's not even on the all rookie first team, but he is on the all rookie second team. So I'll take that. But let's go ahead. Look at the player stats. Let's see how it went. 20 points for Paul George. 17 for Conley Towns. DeAndre Ayton, 10 and uh, 7. So I can kind of understand now. Bobby Portis. Add more off the bench than him. Okay, interesting. Jimmy Butler, 15 points. Almost nine or almost 10 rebounds for Conley Towns. But other than that, guys, we can go ahead and see. We're facing the Spurs again. We were the sixth seed last time and they were the third seed. So hopefully it's a little bit of a different role now. It is evened up though. 3 2. Let's move on. In six, baby. Yes, we do. All right. So if we face the Rockets, I'm tiling it up as an L right now. I'm telling you right. Okay. Facing the Pelicans. This could be a little bit more interesting. Hopefully, but they are up 2-0. We do win one game and we even it up just like that. We're up 3-2. Can we win four in a row? Yes, we do. We are in that Western Conference Finals facing the, you know, no other than the Golden State Warriors. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be a thing. And, uh, okay, can we even it up? We do. All right. 2K is surprising me a little bit. We're up 3-2 and we're going to a game seven with the Golden State Warriors. 2K, if you could do me one Huge favor, and let me win one championship. I would really appreciate it. Are they going to let me? No, 2K sucks. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, let's go. 106, 105. Let's go. We won. Oh, my gosh. That was crazy. All right. 25 points. 27, 18, 14, and 12. Man, I thought for sure we lost that, but we're on the NBA Finals. Let's see if we can beat 
the Philadelphia 76ers. We even it up. We're up 2 1. Up. Oh, all right, man. All right. They even it. Oh, man. They're up 3 2. All right. If we can just win this game and then win one more, win one more, I would be forever grateful. Thank you, 2K. Win this game at least. All right. 22 points. Bobby Force off the bench. And here's for all the marbles, guys. If we can win this here, we're at home. It is going to be a championship for Minnesota. We're up 35. Or not really up 35. We won 35 the first quarter. And we win a championship. Let's go. Let's freaking go 27 points for paul george let's see who won finals mvp carl t towns did thank you guys so much for watching if you have not subscribed make sure to do so but this is crush wolves and i'm saying peace